Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about that how we can use plant as a bioreactors. So without any delay, let's start the video. So first of all, we should know that what are bioreactors. So bioreactors is simply these are you can say these are instruments or device in which the biological reactions has been takes place. So generally, we convert the substrate of low value into the product of high value by using these bioreactors and when we talk about plant as a bioreactor then it means now we are talking about of making product into the plants so generally we use transgenic plants and cell cultures for making very important substances like recombinant proteins antibody vaccines etc so plant as a bioreactor means when we utilize the plant for making biological products or in other words when we make the biological product within the plant or cell culture so that we can say that we are using the plant as bioreactors now the types of bioreactors here the types of bioreactor means that in which part of the plant the biological reaction is taking place or you simply you can say in which part of the plant the product is forming so generally there are four types of this plant bioreactor on the basis of the part of plant used for the production of products so first seed based plant bioreactors here when the product has been formed in the seeds of plants so then we can say that now the seeds are acting as the bioreactor so generally the seeds they provide a suitable environment for the product formation because they have very high rate of protein synthesis the example that the l idornidase was produced in the seeds of arabidopsis thaliana plant second type plant suspension culture when the product is formed in the you can say the plant cells under suspension culture in that case we can say that now the suspension culture is acting as the bioreactor here example like human lysosomal protein was expressed in the suspension culture of transgenic tobacco plant third hairy root system here the hairy root system means this is the rhizo secretion which is caused due to the infection of agrobacterium rhizozins and it is highly stable and suitable for the production of different pharmaceuticals and the last one chloroplast bioreactors because when the biological reaction or the product has been formed in the chloroplast then we can say that now the chloroplast is acting as the bio reactor so in order to make the product in the chloroplast we can follow two method first when the foreign genes they are inserted into nuclear chromosomes and then target the express protein into the chloroplast or the second method when the foreign genes they are directly targeted into chloroplast genome this chloroplast genome so example include here the expression of human serum albumin protein was done in the chloroplast so these are the types of plant bioreactor on the basis of the part of plant which is used for the production of particular product now the basic process of making the product in plants so the basic process include first isolate and design the gene for expression means first of all we have to isolate that gene of which we want to make the product because here we are talking about the transgenic plants in which we are just transfer the foreign gene so the first step is the isolation of that particular gene and designing the gene construct means now we have to make this gene as it can express inside the plants so for that we have to design a particular gene for expression in which we generally add promoter translational you can say translational activating signals or you can say the stop codons and uh, initiation codon means all the expression elements these are just incorporated into that particular design after designing the gene for expression 
the next step is the introduction of this gene construct into the plant it can be introduced by either physical method like dna microinjection zine gun or biological method like for example agrobacterium mediated gene transfer in the next step when the genes has been transferred to the plants now the next step these cells they are allowed to regenerate and after regeneration we select the transgenic plants because we want to make our product so in order to get the product we have to select the transgenic plants only and after selection of transgenic plants now these transgenic plants are allowed to grow in the fields and as they grow now we can harvest the plant materials for getting our product and from these harvested plant material we simply purify the product by using various purification techniques like chromatography centrifugation etc so this is the process by which we can make the product in the plants and purify that particular product now these are the example of some different product which can be made inside the plant they include like planty body we can make antibodies within the plants so the antibody formed in the plant they are known as planty body so for making antibodies we just take the genes for light and heavy chains and introduce into the plants and where they will join to form a functional antibody second example of product that is enzymes we can also make particular enzymes like amylase proteases etc in order to make the enzyme we just transfer the gene for that particular enzyme into the plant and in the plant we will get that enzyme and we can purify that enzyme from the plant material and next product that can be made in the plant these are the biopolymers like for example bioplastic these are the polyhydroxy alkanoate polymers so we just insert the genes which are involved in the uh, you can say metabolic process or syn biosynthesis process of these biopolymers so these genes they are transferred to plants and in the plant these polymers these are formed and we can simply get the polymer from that plant part so this is all about that how the plant they act as bioreactors and the various steps which are used for making product in the plant so that's over today guys see you in the next video thank you very much